It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, mid-Michigan spirited sports debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time to meet Team 252, Sean Belegian, versatile play-by-play -play man, longtime sports talk host, and he is the game day co-host for the Detroit Lions Radio Network and WJR. It's almost here, Sean. Can't wait. Not that we're counting or anything. 40 days, we'll all be up at Spartan Stadium, I'm guessing. That's right. And yep. you're going to be there for the opener against Utah State. Looking forward to it. Uh, hole in the schedule, so it'll be great to go up there as, as a fan and just have a great time up at Spartan Stadium. Just works out that Wayne State isn't playing it's that. It's amazing. Night, right? And the Lions play the day before. It's amazing how that works out. <laughs> also want to welcome back Darian Harris, five-year MSU linebacker, co-captain of the 2015 Big Ten champions, aspiring broadcaster, graduate student, youth coach, and future athletic director. How are you, Darian? Doing great, doing great. I uh, enjoyed a fantastic event out in Grand Rapids today at Atwater Brewery for Mike Sadler. The second annual celebration of life for, for Mike Sadler it was a fantastic event that Karen put on. Had, a, um, I think, twice as many people as last year show up, and there were a ton of people last year at Founders. But we had a great time, great event. Um, you know, had everybody out there. Uh, Father Jake gave a fantastic monologue for Jake us. Folio. So, yeah, yep. So um, it was a fantastic event and uh, shows a good in Spartan Nation. It's always great to see that, especially in uh, these, these times. And Kelly Dean, one of the most giving people you'll find anywhere, made a lot of this possible with Dean Transportation, bringing people from mid Michigan up to Grand Rapids. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely got to thank her for that and Dean Trailways as well. Um, Taking an entire bus. Of, uh, of anybody that was around the East Lansing area that wanted to travel up there, um, took the cheerleaders as well. So it was great to see them out there as well. So, um, I mean, that's just, that's Spartan Nation right there. Um, right. You know, talking to people at the event, now they're shocked every time this many, many people show up wearing green and white, but I'm definitely not. Also want to welcome back Bob Fossum. He is a charter Hall of Famer, Okemos High School, two sport letterman at Michigan State, and one of the best golfers this area has produced. There was a little golf on television there today. There was a little huh? golf today. Uh, did you watch a little bit of it? I it watched it all. Pretty good. That was yeah. outstanding. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't, uh, you know, you just can't get away from it. you got to watch the whole thing and watch every shot. It just, it's so much fun. The, that's the, I think that even, even more than the Masters, I enjoy watching that. You get up in the morning early and start watching. So. And you've been to Carnoustie. You know a lot about I've that. I've been there, played it a long mm -hmm. time ago, but um, uh, just really tough. Tough. You didn't yeah. get uh, 75 yard rolls on your drive. <laughs> yeah, that, right? We didn't that day. It was a little misty when we played. So. <laughs> We're going to talk about the Open Championship and a lot of other things, starting with Bill Beekman and his appointment as Michigan State's athletic director. Forget the interim. We're also going to talk Michigan State football, NBA basketball, Detroit Tigers, and much more coming up here on Press Pass. At Not Just Guns and Mason, we're proud sponsors of Racing on Fox. We're just down the road from Corrigan Oil Speedway. Stop in and see us every Friday night on your way to the track. It's the sale of the year. Playmaker semi-annual sale going on now through Sunday. With savings like this, you won't want to miss it. If you'd like us to feature your small business, visit us at fox47news.com. In a world in need of integrity, Fox 47 presents a team of superheroes that will rule your daytime. The League of Justice, bringing truth, compassion, humor to a city yearning for fairness, led by the mass crusader Judge Millian. What business do you have having a minor who's 16 go with you instead of her parents? You're a grown man. People's Court puts naughty people in their place. Up until this point, had you heard anything about you having a daughter? Then, Paternity Court saves the day by finding out who is your daddy. I'll Sir. dismiss your case and throw you out. Got it? The Mighty Mathis. You're lucky they didn't file charges against you, because quite frankly, if I were the deputy DA in the case, I would have filed a hate crime against you and I would have sought state prison. And the sizzling New York hot bench plays the trail for the Queen of the Court, Judge Judy. Because you were being paid in cash that you weren't reporting. Justice Rules Weekdays on Fox 47. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. D. 
Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. The student bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment. Brought to you by Graf Chevrolet, a trusted friend with 104 years in the automobile business. Stop and see Matt, Mark, and Greg on West Grand River in Okemos. They'll take great care of you. They have on all six of my leases and purchases. Go green, go Graf. Ladies and gentlemen, the new athletic director at Michigan State University, Bill Beekman. The Hall of Champions in which we now stand represents 27 national championships and 131 Big Ten championships achieved by Spartan athletic teams. We will continue to add plaques to these walls. Our athletic department will only be successful if every student has the opportunity to succeed on the field of play, in the classroom, and in life. While we will be judged primarily by our success on the field of play, we will have failed if we cannot also graduate our students and ensure that they are well prepared for life's journey. Gentlemen, I found it very interesting that uh, the media member who probably knew Bill Beekman the best was Blue Belly Tom, Tom Crawford, <laughs> from their dealings with uh, East Lansing Junior Trojans. But uh, Darian, last week you told us what an athletic director should be. What do you think Bill Beekman will be in a department with 25 varsity sports and a budget of more than $130 million. Well, obviously he's coming into a situation with um, a, a very prestigious institution that, as you said, has 25 varsity sports. Uh, he named, you know, the amount of championships that have come through Michigan State. So what I think he will be is a great bridge, a great liaison between the athletics department, um, the rest of the, the student body, uh, as well as alumni, and as well as, you know, people around the Spartan Nation. I think that that's what we need the most uh, right now is somebody to really bridge the gap amongst all the avenues that come through an institution like Michigan State. And I thought he did an excellent job of saying it's not just all about what goes down on the field and on the court. It's not always just about winning championships. It's about making sure everybody's prepared for life. It's about making sure everybody on campus is safe, everybody feels safe, um, and everybody has a fantastic experience in Michigan State. So I think he's dedicated and determined to make that happen. He did say that athletic directors are usually judged two ways, success on the field and headlines off the field. And uh, he's determined to use his experience. Hey, he's got a master's degree from Northwestern, a law degree from Wayne State, mm -hmm. and he's certainly been around. Uh, he knows where everything, uh, how everything works at Michigan State. Uh, Bob Fossum, why Bill Beekman? And what does it mean, good or bad, that MSU's coaches unanimously wanted him to have the job and made that very public? Well, I think a, f a, th a few things. First of all, he's been here for two decades. Yeah. He, he knows the inner workings, the administrative, how things, I mean, he probably knows better than anybody how MSU works right. on the whole. Um, the, the Board of Trustees thought highly enough of him to give him inter interim presidency right. after Luana left. And he may be the only guy who's ever gone from interim president to interim <laughs> athletic director. <laughs> right, no, exactly. But that's how high, and, and, and when you have Tom Izzo and Mark D'Antonio backing you and yeah. you want this guy to be there, that says a ton. And probably the biggest thing is he's from Okemos and he graduated from Okemos High School. Well, there you go. Well, that's <laughs> so got to be big right that's there. That's my school. So, well, no. and you'll appreciate this too because he somehow found some money that had been squirreled away, set aside for something else, and he wanted every coach, I mean, you talk about the 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, five sports in terms of revenue potential, and he said, what could you do with a little extra money yeah. if we could make it work for your program? Now, suddenly you're a hero No, when you do something like that. It's fantastic, yeah. 
Sean, uh, Bill Beekman joined us on the drive with Jack and Tom Monday. It was his first broadcast interview, and he said, a Spartan is someone who makes the world a better place. Why have so many people questioned whether he's the right choice for this job, uh, aside from the fact that his appointment was made by John Engler? Yeah, I think the Engler effect has something to do with it. Let's be honest. I mean, there are some people out there, anything that John Engler uh, does or says is wrong. And, right. and, you know, right or wrong, that's the perception out there. I'll go back to something that Bob said. Why would you go out and get somebody that has to learn the lay of the land yeah. before they can start doing things and improving what is already in place? This is a guy that knows the lay of the land. He knows everybody. When you get the endorsement, you said that wonderfully, Bob. When you get the endorsement from Coach Hizzo and Coach D'Antonio, that should be good enough for everybody. But this is a guy that already knows what's there right. and is able to improve upon what is already there. I think a lot of people thought, well, why don't you go outside the family? I think to me, the answer should come within the family personally. Yeah. I really yeah. do. I think the family can take care of this. And he certainly seems well equipped to do that. I think the issue was that there was a statement there was going to be a national search. Mm -hmm. So everyone was expecting that. And then suddenly it's called off. Says, Wait a minute now. That's not what you said before. But to me, when something is broken, then you go outside to fix it. When it's not broken, you don't. You could argue that Michigan State has never had more success than they have the last 10 years in football and basketball. The revenue has been there. And you can go the other way and you can say, yeah, but look what happened with all the headlines and Larry Nasser. So I think it depends on what perspective you're coming at this. But hey, I say give Bill Beekman a chance, OK? Let's wait six months, a year, and then you can evaluate him. We'll be right back with more coming up, the British Open. There's nothing like a road trip for making memories with family and friends. And we want to help you make those memories with a new Graf Chevrolet. During the Graf Road Trip sales event, you'll save thousands of dollars on a Chevy car or truck of your choice. Right now, Graf Okemos will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Get a new Silverado, only $143 a month, or a new Malibu at Graf Okemos, just $138 a month. Start your summer adventure in a new Graf Chevrolet during Graf's road trip sales event at a Graf dealership near you. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Gordon Ramsay's 24 Hours to Hell and Back, Wednesday on Fox. RPM Auto Sales is ready to help you get the car you need at a payment you can afford. Our spring inventory has arrived, like this 2014 Chevy Malibu LT or this 2010 Lincoln MKZ all-wheel drive for just $72 a week. With five car lots and two salvage yards, if you're looking for a sports car, motorcycle, trailer, or just that hard-to-find part, RPM has you covered. In college football, you don't have the luxury of looking ahead. Every Saturday is a different way of destroying your season. Touchdown! They'll make the ground shake. They'll make your eyes burn. They'll show you hate and disrespect unlike anything you've ever seen. Don't think about January when there's a Wolverine coming for your face in September. The biggest game, the only game, is the one you're playing. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, and we are talking about the 2018 British Open at Carnoustie. I see Justin Rose. Justin Rose. This is a guy who wasn't going to make the cut. Oh, oh, and comes back with a phenomenal final round, ties for second. Yeah. Uh, you see some of these, oh, Jordan Spieth, he's having that trouble. Oh, here you see McElroy. Rory McElroy. Yeah, he made a run. And Tiger Woods. 
he was actually in the lead Leading by on the 11th tee. Yeah, 11th tee, he was there in position, and a lot of people got nervous at that point, Bob. <laughs> I, I, I was shaking a little bit. <laughs> but there were some phenomenal shots, the guys who managed to actually stop the ball. And uh, here you see That's Francesco Molinari. Yeah. And uh, the amazing part was that he played the round with Tiger with Woods. Tiger. And, and Tiger Wood knocks it three feet away, Molinari puts it within two feet. So uh, <laughs> that is a great way to win a championship. And it's the first Italian to first win Italian one ever, of golf's yeah. Yeah. majors. Yeah. Uh, Bob Fossum, uh, we saw one of the great final rounds in history. And it, was, it looked like it was Jordan Spieth's tournament to win. For a while, and uh, he didn't for a while. win it. Yeah. Uh, we looked at what uh, Tiger Woods did coming back, and people had wondered if we would ever see him atop a leaderboard again in a major. But Molinari, the hottest player in the game. Yes. And he has hottest three wins game. and two seconds in the span of seven weeks. Um, first of all, great action. I mean, but you started out with three guys at nine under, and you're going, okay, yeah. well, at least one of these guys is probably going to get to 10 or 11 or something. Right. The wind was blowing, so you never, you don't know. But after the third round, I figure, okay, Spieth has figured this out. Yeah, he and wins. Just, I mean, he wins last again. year. He's the defending champ. He, you know, you're going, okay, he's the prohibitive going Shoots into the last day. Six in the last round. He didn't finish good, and but, but the great thing was there were, you know, maybe eight, ten guys at the beginning of the day, and then by the middle of the day, there's 20 guys that were that could have won, and Tiger, he's got the lead on number 11. And everybody's going, oh boy, he's, this is, you know, and then he col kind of collapses right. for two holes. And then you had, um, you Everyone know, Molinari's just making pars and yeah. pars and pars. And well, he and went the last two rounds and didn't have a bogey. Didn't have a bogey. I mean, that's, that's what the best player, in the, currently the best player playing in the world does, I guess. Right. And, and he already won. And it was great, the tournament he wins the Quicken Loans in D.C., right. who hands him the trophy. Tiger, and they were playing together today. So, I mean, that made it really cool for... Well, that was just three weeks ago. He won that, and yeah. he won it by eight shots. He, and so. he finished second last week at the John Deere. Yeah. And everybody was wondering, well, why is he playing, you know, the PGA tournaments? He goes, well, I just want to get some FedEx points and make sure I'm in there. But he's just been playing phenomenally. It was it was great to watch. Yeah. Sean Belegian, did you enjoy golf in a parking lot? Loved it. Uh, it was outstanding. You know what is fascinating to me? Their idea of a country club, and I guess our idea of a country club, because I know some groundskeepers that would go nuts with all that brown over there. But <laughs> all jokes aside, you know what I love the most? Is, is Francesco just kept plugging along. Yeah. And it seemed like everybody else was talking, here comes Spieth, here comes yeah. Rose. And he just kept plugging around and, and nobody was talking about him. It was a fascinating watch. But I, I think the one thing that jumps out to me, and we saw it front and center today, um, people so badly want Tiger Woods yeah, to be yeah, back yeah. that they're forgetting he had one exceptional round. And other than that, he was just another guy. And that's kind of been his career for a decade now. Right. But it was a great watch today. I think we were all a little afraid. Right? <laughs> At 11, we were, he's not going to do it again, he is he? We're excited. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> amazing. Three rounds of even par, and then he has the 66. Uh, Darian, uh, on the Drive with Jack and Tom on Wednesday on our Bring Your A Game se segment, someone <laughs> said that uh, <laughs> Tiger Woods was <laughs> never going to win another tournament, much, le much less another major. <laughs> How did he get so close before that double bogey and bogey back to back on the back nine? Well, I still, still think that he can kind of generate and conjure some old Tiger moments. And I mean, I agree. You know, Twitter was going nuts, yeah. obviously. I mean, everybody was, I, I think that's a great way to put it. Everybody was kind of scared because you know how, to, how you're going to react if he actually pulls this off. But it was kind of an interesting situation. You know, you see Djokovic pull off Wimbledon and people didn't know if he was going to be able to win again. Uh, so I guess never count Tiger out. But uh, I mean, if you're going to be a betting man, you got to bet that he probably wouldn't win another one again. But today might be might lead to something but that you know that's going to be the talk tomorrow you know when you have this kind of golf tournament it's always better with tiger woods in it Absolutely. we'll be right back and we're going to talk about the major league baseball all-star game and the detroit tigers up next to all lovers of cheese a and w has something for you cheese curds gooey delicious 100 percent wisconsin white cheddar cheese golden fried to perfection for a snack for a side for the love of cheese only at your local a and w you will not find a better selection of pre-owned vehicles anywhere. Visit us today and see why Motor Cars is setting the standard for pre-owned dealerships across the nation. With over 17 years in the Lansing area, you'll find the best selection any make, any model, 
premium maintenance facility, complimentary quick lube, we will optimize your buying experience at Motor Cars. Easy credit approval, apply online, and remember, don't just buy a car, buy a motor car. I loved growing up in Michigan. I know what it's like to run down to the lake every day in the summer. I love going biking, enjoy the beautiful scenery of Michigan and everything that Michigan has to offer outdoors, which is a lot. Tim Allen's back and all new. Last Man Standing, Fridays this fall on Fox. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration, these are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. The Knapp Center is a historical hub for future business growth in beautiful downtown Lansing. The Eyed Company did the best they could to preserve the integrity of the history of this building while incorporating a modern open workspace. They have been prompt, they have been efficient, and they really are a friendly, great group of people that we don't have any concerns about calling them for any of our needs. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the Eyed Company family. Weekdays at 9 on Fox 47. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment. Brought to you by Retirement Protection Services and longtime area financial advisor Jack Vogler. Earn interest based on stock market performance with zero exposure to market downturns. Give Jack a call at 339-4777. That's 339-4777. I'm glad I did. Taking a look at the Major League Baseball Home Run Derby. Oh, no, that's not the Home Run Derby. That's the All-Star Game. <laughs> that's actually uh, Home Run Derby Part 2. Yeah, Mr. Judge. That's Aaron Judge putting one. You know, these things just keep sailing, right? The record for an All-Star Game had been six home runs. I saw one of those in 1971 in Tiger Stadium. These guys combined for ten <laughs> home runs, including extra innings, back-to-back -back home runs. That's the first time that teammates uh, had hit back-to-back -back homers uh, since 1975, but uh, that's what we got. And Alex Bregman gave the National, gave the American League, excuse me, the lead and the win, and uh, they went on from there for the victory. Uh, Sean, is this emblematic of what we've seen all year in baseball? Such an emphasis on the home run and the strikeout. It seems like the ball is never put in play. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. You know, I, I'm going to accentuate the positive, though, because, I mean, what you see in other sports, uh, the Pro Bowl is is the bro hug. You know, I mean, yeah. that's, that's nothing like the real game. Exactly. You've got the NBA All-Star Game, which is like MTV Rock and Jock, right. and you've got the NHL All-Star Game, which is an atrocity. So at least you can say with baseball, it's like the real facsimile, right. and certainly that game was that no change. I mean, that's what we're seeing, and uh, chicks dig the lawn ball. <laughs> right? I mean, is, isn't, that the, old, isn't that, was, that the old saying? So uh, we're, we're getting it, and I, I guess the, uh, the, the positive part is it looked a lot like an MLB game, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we talk about the basketball all-star game, and Darian, that reminds me a little bit of Moneyball. Yeah, just a little bit. Not a lot of defense played. Uh, they, they're trying to, to help a little bit with the draft and then been changing things up, but it's so hard in these all-star games that, that, that are, are that much um, ath athletic, athletically oriented to try not to get hurt. So that's why you see, obviously, the Pro Bowl being a, bear, you know, a bro hug and uh, NBA All-Star game like a defense with MLB. You can actually do the real thing in an All-Star game and not risk a lot of injury. Monday night, we saw Washington, D.C., hometown hero, your Nationals. Uh, Bryce Harper, with the dramatic comeback, win that. Is Bryce Harper as good as any player in the National League, and where will he play next season? 
Uh, yeah, I think he's definitely uh, probably the best positional player in the National League. I mean, I think maybe the overall best player is probably his teammate, Max Scherzer, if you want to think about baseball and the need for pitching. But positional player, I mean, maybe Chris Bryant's the only one in the NL that can kind of uh, stand up to him in terms of, of uh, skill. You know, the AL is, is led with Judge and Stanton and, and Mookie Betts, and obviously the overall best player in baseball, Mike Trout. They're all in the American Jose League. Jose Altuve. Yeah, they have. So, um, yeah, so everybody's kind of loaded in the American League. But I do think he's the best positional player in the National League. Honestly, I think him winning the home run derby in D.C. helped his case to stay in D.C. You see how the fans gravitated towards him, stood behind him. He's obviously struggling this year. but Doesn't he still... mean the Yankees will just add another zero? Well, you know, <laughs> it, that's the thing. He, he's going to ask for $400 million, and, and do, they, do they do that? They'll have the money for it, but I just can't see anybody making $400 million. Um, and, and he's, I mean, he's, he's the best player in the National League, but he's, right now he's not the best player in baseball. So if anybody's going to get that $400 million, it'd be Mike Trout. I don't think he's batting 250 this year. He's not, no. no he's not, yeah. Bob Fossum, uh, the Tigers return to action Friday night against the Boston Red Sox. That's the team as there is in baseball, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And promptly dropped two out of three and shut out for the 13th time this season. Why should we care if we're not a baseball diehard about the final 61 games? I know. I mean, I, and I was thinking about this today where, you know, die, the diehard people, non-diehard people, you know, why would they watch? You know, they're, they're losing. Maybe they want to watch because the other team is good or Boston. But, right. but when you look at it, they really have a nice set of young players. Yeah. Um, and watch you know, the growth, the development. Yeah, maybe. Candelario, Goodrum, Hicks. Um, yeah. Rodriguez. I mean, they they've put together some young kids that are that are fun to watch. Sometimes they can't generate some runs. You know, they have a tough time. How many um, of those guys will be there when the Tigers are good again, Sean? A couple. I, I mean, I, when you think of think of all the guys when the Tigers were the team that were buying people. Yeah. Think of all the guys that were, were involved in deals and these yeah. names. You can't give up Humberto Sanchez. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you, you can't, can't find give Humberto. Up, you can't give up Jacob Turner. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So I think for me, you'd rather go with a known than an unknown, you know, because so many things can happen with these prospects. But, you know, they're, they're, all you have to do is hit on a couple. I mean, really, that's all you have to do is hit on a couple. So yeah. there are a couple guys that really intrigue. Kurt Gibson had a very interesting point on the telecast today. He went back through some of these five for one trades where you get a, somebody's entire farm system for an established star. He said, almost always, you're better to take the star mm -hmm. because. Three of the five wash out. You never hear from them again. And, yeah. and you know, the idea is you get somebody who's going to be half as good as the guy you're trading. So uh, that's part of the problem. We will be back in just a minute, and we're going to talk college football. The big picture, we'll talk about Big Ten football media days coming up tomorrow and Tuesday in Chicago. We'll be broadcasting live on the Team 92.1 FM. And we'll talk about the captains and Michigan State speaker, Kari Willis. We'll be right back. There's nothing like a road trip for making memories with family and friends. And we want to help you make those memories with a new Graf Chevrolet. During the Graf Road Trip sales event, you'll save thousands of dollars on the Chevy car or truck of your choice. Right now, Graf Okemos will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Get a new Silverado, only $143 a month, or a new Malibu at Graf Okemos, just $138 a month. Start your summer adventure in a new Graf Chevrolet during Graf's road trip sales event at a Graf dealership near you. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Get it while it's hot. Ow! An all-new MasterChef, Wednesday on Fox. Looking for a used car? Then look to Shaheen Chevrolet. 
We have Lansing's largest selection of used cars and trucks. Late models, low miles, and no worries, because our GM certified pre-owned vehicles come with a detailed history report, two warranties, and included maintenance. You even get free OnStar and XM Radio, all at Shaheen's great low price. And find special internet deals at ShaheenChevrolet.com. You get a better used car deal, because you get a better used car at Shaheen Chevrolet. You Show your support for the brave men and women of law enforcement at the second annual Policeman's Ball, Friday, July 27th at 6.30 p.m. aboard the Michigan Princess. At this formal event, you can enjoy dancing, a prime rib dinner, and a 50-50 raffle. All proceeds go to law enforcement charities of Michigan and our Grant Whitaker Scholarship Fund. Tickets are $40 per person or $30 for law enforcement. Available online at facebook.com slash backingtheblue.mi. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including daily casino runs and great getaways to Northern Michigan and Chicago, and rides to Chicago every year for the Mike Sadler Life Celebration. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. It's been a privilege to be sought out by young fans looking for an autograph on a picture or a piece of scrap paper. It's very humbling, yet a privilege nonetheless. It's been a privilege to be a member of a team, to come together with a hundred other guys, and to work to accomplish something that none of us could accomplish on our own. The memories of Saturdays in the fall, as well as the early morning workouts in January and February, will remain with each one of us for the rest of our lives, as will the relationships that have been built between us. I see it as a privilege to have spent the past four years in an environment where life lessons are learned on a daily basis, and they will no doubt be put to use in the years to come. That is Kirk Cousins in 2011, four wins over the University of Michigan, and uh, made a lot of money with the Washington Redskins. Now he's going to make it for the Minnesota Vikings and future United States Senator. Or President. Uh, or, or President. Uh, Darian, uh, you've been a terrific team leader and a great communicator. Is it unfair to compare anyone to Kirk Cousins in what he did? that night uh, that I, I think so a little bit I mean I think everybody has their own uh, style their own leadership style and I think we have to wait and see um, you know how the rest of the speeches that you have to follow that lead especially coming from Michigan State go I mean there's been a lot of great speeches even after Kirk Cousins from players from different various schools um, and they've all had their unique you know twist to it and I think that when Kari Willis steps up to the podium uh, to give his speech at the luncheon he's gonna put his own twist on it he's gonna speak about his experience that's a, a probably a lot different than Kirk's experience Experience. You know, we're talking about offensive players, the defensive player. Right. Um, for Carr, he's a local guy that's now that then came to to Michigan State. So um, there's going to be a lot of differences in terms of uh, you know the angle that he takes in his speech. But Carr is a great guy. He's a great speaker. He's a guy that um, you know has been quoted as saying he's off of social media. He's he's uh, he does a lot of different things than you would see out of an 18 to 22 year old kid. So I'm definitely interested in seeing his speech. I know it's going to be pretty good. 42 players represented from the 14 schools and Kari Willis is the player representative to go to the podium. I don't think he'll be talking about his first career start, uh, which was the perfect 10 game and the win in 2015 over the <laughs> University of Michigan, but if he wants to, that's, that's quite all right. Uh, guys, do you think that Willis, LJ Scott, uh, and Brian Lewerke will be Michigan State's captains. They are the player representatives in Chicago, but last year, Gerald Holmes was there and he wasn't a captain. Do you think that this is an indicator that those are the guys who will be chosen to lead this team? Well, you'd kind of think so. I mean, it, it, and typically, you know, I'd have to ask Darian about it, but your best players typically get the captaincy, captaincy you know, and, and, and the guys that, that the coaches know that these guys are going to, the other players are going to look up to yeah. and follow, those are your captains. Those are the guys that got to lead the team. And so I would think that, that Lewerke and, and LJ and, and Willis would be, would be those guys, yeah. Mark D'Antonio has been adamant that you can only have three captains, right? You're not going to have more. You're not going to have four or five, whatever it is. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that Joe Bocci isn't a team leader. Maybe he'll be a captain. Not exactly sure how that'll work. Well, they better make the, the quarterback a captain because we know a team can't have <laughs> any success if the quarterback isn't <laughs> yeah. a captain. Yeah. That boy yeah, is head blown out. We're going to have to talk about yeah, that after the show. Yeah, we are. So that, we definitely I mean, are. I mean, I just like, 
Well, Big Ten champions. That was cool, you know. But no, I mean, all all jokes aside, it is amazing to see how it works out. And you know, maybe Lewerke as a junior will, yeah. will be a captain. Uh, he was phenomenal last year, and I don't think anybody's going to complain too much if they decide to put a C on him. What do you think as far as captaincy? That's something the players will vote on right yeah. before. I, I think they're. I think that they're in a perfect situation because I think they're running into a situation that uh, was was likened to the situation we had my senior year, where um, if you look at both the senior class as well as the junior class, if you look at guys like you said Brian Lewerke and Joe Bocci, you got a group of now about. 10 to 15 guys that could all be captains on this team. I think it's a lot better to have more leaders than to have less leaders. So um, we're going to look at a lot of guys getting a lot of different votes. Um, it's it's really good to see a guy like LJ getting the chance to go to Indianapolis, yeah. uh, excuse me, Chicago to represent the team. Right. Uh, he's a guy that's come a long way. He's already been in Indianapolis. Right, he's been in Indianapolis right. a couple times. Some schools but. haven't been there. I just, <laughs> <laughs> but no, just, just, just to see how, how far he's come, especially as a leader on this team, is big. And for him to be um, um, the senior running back, a guy that had opportunity to leave last year and, and still get drafted to come back uh, this year to try to do some great things is really good to see. We would be remiss if we didn't mention again the Sadler Life Celebration today and uh, Atwater Brewery in Grand Rapids. Yep. And uh, there you see Mike Sadler. He was uh, unique in every way uh, besides being maybe the smartest football player I've ever talked to. He's one of the funniest. And uh, he had a career in radio, too, but he wanted to move on to higher things. Uh, we will be back in just a minute, and we're going to talk more about uh, the NBA and our Paving the Way segment brought to you by McCurney Asphalt. We'll talk about a, a very big trade this week. Kawhi Leonard, DeMar DeRozan, yeah. see how that shakes out in the Eastern Conference. We'll be right back. Larry? Sorry, Larry's on the road again. But you can always find him at LarrysRVService.com. Take virtual tours, apply for financing, even schedule mobile service online. Let Larry find a great deal for you at Larry's RV in Jackson. Larry, are you out there? Team One in Charlotte is celebrating Sun and Drive. No money down. Where you pay no money down on a new car. That's right, no money down on your next new car with Sun and Drive. Only from Team One in Charlotte. Find your next vehicle at TeamOneCharlotte.com. Team Whoever said growing old had to be boring never spent a day with these guys. One for me, one for you, and one for you. You know what happens when you mix prescription drugs and alcohol? Yeah, a good time. <laughs> Do you mind? It has been a bitch of a morning. You can't sit there. Who are you guys? The cool kids? Damn straight. <laughs> yeah. The cool kids. This fall. Everybody <laughs> just relax, act like we have Alzheimer's. On Fox. The Four Battle for Stardom, Thursdays on Fox. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop Headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango, and Caribbean sea burst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for Paving the Way, a new segment brought to you by McKerney Asphalt, your smart choice for all commercial and residential paving. Give Team McKerney a call at 484-3188, as I just did, and give your property a great new look. There you see... 
Kawhi Leonard, and he can do a lot of things for the San Antonio Spurs when he's in uniform, when he wants to play, <laughs> which last year uh, didn't happen. He wasn't happy with the Spurs doctors and decided that he needed to go somewhere else, join a different organization, and uh, DeMar DeRozan. Uh, he gets it done a lot of ways, or did, for the Toronto Raptors, but they could never get over the hump. Some guy named LeBron James in the Eastern mm -hmm. Conference, they decided, hey, we've got to take advantage of this. It doesn't do us any good to be a number one seed if we're going to be eliminated every time we see the Cleveland Cavaliers. Might not be a bad time to see the Cleveland Cavaliers, actually, yeah. this year. Uh, Sean Belegian, when you think about uh, this NBA, uh, who got the best of this trade? I think it's the Spurs all day, and, and for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think they got a player who's going to stick around, and you know the draft choice that, that you guys saw on the monitor. He's not going to stay in Toronto. I think no. everybody and their brother knew it's player option next year. I think he yeah. would love nothing more than to go into L.A. So for the Raptors, who have a rabid fan base, I mean, really, I mean, the, 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 we the North is a pretty cool thing yeah. if you haven't had a chance to be up there. I think they're going to be devastated when this guy walks after one year. I would be on the phone right now trying to make trades, to be honest with you, to try to get some value out of it. I'd be drop dead stunned if he stuck around. I think it, there's a snowball chance in, of, in, excuse me, snowball's chance in Hades that there's no way he's going to stay. What does it mean, uh, Bob, when a player like Kawhi Leonard can sit out a whole year, demand a trade, and have a chance to win a conference championship and then go to his dream team anyway and play for the Lakers? Well, it's the NBA is a, it's a star-driven league. It's, yeah. it's a superstar league, and they, and they can make demands. Uh, where in, in some other leagues, I, I'm not sure that's the case. So, so Kawhi has had it in his head. I, I'm not going to play anymore. Whatever the issues were with San Antonio, right. I'm not playing. So, in San Antonio, it's, okay. Well, we got to get something for him. Right. Uh, we'll trade him. Do whatever we have to. But to have to have the ability, some of these players. I mean, LeBron, of course, is at the top of the list. Of, right. I'll dictate everything. And then so some of these other guys have said, well, okay, you know, I'm pretty good. I can probably dictate what I want to do, too. So yeah. Kawhi kind of got into that. And it's, it's a player-driven league, and, and that's okay. I mean, we love watching those guys play. So, Darian, are you buying the idea that the Spurs got the best of this trade? Um, I am, and the fact that they were the team that was going to control the whole situation. So they looked at everything, all things considered, and realized that the Lakers weren't going to give up Kuzma, who was probably who they were after. They weren't going to give up somebody like that. The Celtics weren't going to give up Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Uh, and so, so they knew that they needed to get some value back for a guy who, when healthy, is is uh, you know he's unquestionably a top top three player in the league. So they get a guy back into Demar Derozan as a perennial All Star guy. That's going to be interesting to see what he does under Popovich. So right. I think that they got a very good end of the deal. I think the Raptors did as well. As long as Kawhi plays, you know, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, how that takes place but uh, as you said I think once he gets up there and sees that fan base and sees Jurassic Park and those yeah. things it's going to energize him. He might him. decide to change his mind. He might decide for at least for the at least for the season he might give it his all because right now it doesn't seem like he's even going to give it his all. Then we just see that with season. Paul George. We did. Yep. Yeah. Right. He's yeah. going to leave and well, I think that's why these teams need to understand also that if you're going to go in, all in on somebody, you got to go all in on them. You know, and, I just, yeah. and I'm not saying the Lakers should have given up Kuzma, but they thought Paul George was a surefire lock to come this year. And he said, no, Oklahoma City threw everything at, at me, and, and I appreciated that, and the Lakers didn't, and that's why he's staying in Oklahoma City. Bob, someone told me that maybe the big winner in this trade in a stealth way is Bryn Forbes. Because <laughs> well. DeMar DeRozan doesn't shoot threes. And you have to have somebody there who's going to shoot it. And that's going to be a lot more opportunities for Bryn Forbes signing that two-year deal with yeah, the Spurs. Yep. Does that make any sense? Oh, yeah, definitely. It definitely does. Uh, he's a guy that, that's grinded his way into the league. Pop loves him. I mean, we, he, Pop yeah. is quoted as saying he's going to pull him out the game if he doesn't shoot the basketball. Right. So <laughs> you can't teach shooting in this league. As you say, you need it. They didn't. Not, not only did they get back a guy that, that doesn't shoot except for mid-range, they lost Kawhi. They also lost Danny Green. Right. That was yeah, their two guard who was their knockdown exactly. dead-eye shooter as well. I want to take a quick look at the NBA Eastern Conference standings for this season. And, Darian, when you uh, look at where the Raptors are, they won four more games than any other team. They just couldn't get past Cleveland. Cleveland's not going to be at the 50-win level. With its nemesis gone, is there any way that Toronto can say, okay, for one year we're going to pull it together here 
and uh, we're going to take a run, and who knows what will happen in the finals. I think that they have an opportunity to be a, a top four seed in the East. I mean, obviously. No better than that. Probably not, just because Boston's going to get um, Kyrie back, and hopefully Gordon Hayward comes back healthy. Philly. The 76ers are rolling right now. So we're looking at probably a, a top four seed. It doesn't mean they can't be number one. It might mean they, they are at four, but I don't think they go lower than that. And you could see a situation where they get out of the first round, second round of the playoffs, and all of a sudden you don't. Don't know what's going to happen. Interesting to see who wins more games, the LeBronless Cavaliers or the Detroit Pistons. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Glenda. This is Dave. Quality and customer service are extremely important to us. We live our life the way we operate our business, honesty, integrity, and trust. When did your mom give you this ring? She said give it to the love of your life. Who doesn't love a good love story, especially one that's as dramatic as theirs? You want it back? I will admit that this is one relationship I have a hard time really keeping up with. I really don't want to get stuck in a room with my pants down again. Dick. Mo and Doriska. I'm here, not now. Okay. They're really good at keeping things under wraps. Nice to see you two are happening again. Nothing's happening again. Their relationship with Nick and Conrad is something that people want to see. What do you want me to say? Apparently, they kind of rekindled some things. But you, you didn't hear that from me. Father and family. Nightly. Weeknights at 6 on Fox 47. There's nothing like a road trip for making memories with family and friends. And we want to help you make those memories with a new Graf Chevrolet. During the Graf Road Trip sales event, you'll save thousands of dollars on the Chevy car or truck of your choice. Right now, Graf Okemos will give you $2,000 more than the appraised value of your trade. Get a new Silverado, only $143 a month, or a new Malibu at Graf Okemos, just $138 a month. Start your summer adventure in a new Graf Chevrolet during Graf's road trip sales event at a Graf dealership near you. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. Matthew Stafford ranked the number nine quarterback in the NFL's top 100. That's the vote of the players. And you get such a wide variety of opinions about Matthew Stafford, Sean, that people who say that, you know, if he just had a little more around him, and other people say that uh, he's never going to get it done here. I, I don't think anybody, if you watch a game, he has taken a step in the last couple of years. No yeah. ifs, ands, or yeah. buts. I used to be one of those guys that thought he has to be better. He, he was one of those guys that said he has to be better. And he has been better. I, is he a superstar? No. But, I mean, honestly, homework assignment, right? Look at all the quarterbacks in the National Football League. Honestly, say to yourself, how many of these guys in the NFL would I rather have yeah. over Matthew Stafford? The number's not that high. Yeah. All right, Team 242, we are less than seven weeks from the start of the pro football regular season, six weeks from college football, five weeks from the high schools. Sean Belegian, what can we take to the bank about the new look 2018 Detroit Lions. Intensity. I mean, I'm sure you heard the stories out of, uh, out of OTAs. You know, this is a situation where uh, NFL laws preclude us from really talking about that which we saw or taping that which we saw in OTAs. Matt Patricia's 
intense, and the team uh, really responded to it, Jack. So I think there's going to be an intensity level that we have not seen in Detroit in a long, long time. Are fans going to be all wearing the baseball caps backward with the beard and the pencil? It, probably, and they're probably going to get yelled that. at, too. <laughs> <laughs> Matt likes to yell. <laughs> like to do that. Uh, Darian Harris, what can we guarantee about Big Ten football with the unofficial start of the season tomorrow in Chicago? Four teams in the Big Ten East that all think they're going to be in Indianapolis. Yeah, absolutely. And you add, you know, obviously Wisconsin on the on the West is getting in, and uh, you got five teams and and maybe even six in the top twelve. I think it's five for sure, maybe six in the preseason top twelve. But yeah. uh, I think we can take to the bank that a team from the Big Ten East uh, will be a representative in the college football playoffs. Uh, this year. We didn't even have a Big Ten representative last year in the college football players. I think the winner of the Big Ten championship game will uh -huh. make it to the college football players, and I believe it's going to come from the Big Ten East. What about the idea that these teams in the East are all going to knock each other off and they're all going to have two losses? Uh, it's possible. I think it's definitely possible, but I think that's what makes it fun. I think the Big Ten East is unquestionably the best conference in all of college football. I don't think anybody can deny that. And when you look at, obviously, Michigan State, Ohio State. You talked to the SEC guys. Well, they, 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 <laughs> they, would, they would question it, but... Um, you know, when you look at the SEC West, I don't, I don't think top to bottom it stacks up, honestly, with the Big Ten East. So um, I, I do believe that a team from the Big Ten East will represent uh, the Big Ten in the college football playoffs because it, it was missing last year. You needed, you needed a Big Ten team in there, but they knocked each other off. So yeah, it's oh well. Pac-12 didn't make it either. First time they had a conference with two teams in from the SEC. That might happen again. Maybe it'll happen with the Big Ten someday. Uh, Bob Fossum, what can we bank on with golf's last major? The PGA Championship next month at Bell Reef Country Club in St. Louis. Uh, okay, we'll take to the bank that we'll have a fourth different uh, major winner. No repeat. No repeat. Uh, we've had uh, Patrick Reed, uh, Kep, Bruce, uh, Brooks Kep, Kepka. Brooks Kepka, and then Molinari today. Yeah. They're all in the top 20 in the world. Yeah. So I'll go take it to the bank, another top 20 in the world, but different from, than those guys. Yeah. And you're going to guarantee it's not going to be Eldrick Woods, right? And I'll guarantee it's not healthy foot. <laughs> That'd be fun to watch. You know, it's uh, there are no dynasties here because everybody keeps passing it around. So there's a lot of engraving to be done. <laughs> we will be back with our final segment and our cool and smooth honorees of the week. Uh, best play, best game, best team, best player coming up here on Press Pass. Team spirit, face paint, more cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel, so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration. These are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. Working with the Eyed Company, one is very easy to do, two, they're very responsive to our needs, and three, as we've grown as a company, they've listened to those needs and they've helped us plan out our future in terms of growth that needs to be done at this location. It's just comforting to know I'm working with the I company, knowing that they can accommodate our growth. In that way, they're, they're an excellent partner. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the I company family. A woman chained to a bed. Literally is a scene from a horror movie. You took part in a hit and then went to the victim. You know, I did. Weekdays at 2 on Fox 47. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay in touch everywhere you go. Everything that kept us paralyzed was nothing but a bad dream. One day we're gonna wake up. It's nothing but a bad dream. I don't want you. Touchdown! This is as good as it gets. Welcome back to 
Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our cool and smooth segment brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to delicious. All right, Team 252. We are looking at some great achievements, and this is not the best umpiring I've ever seen. In fact, <laughs> this might be the worst. Wait till you see this, and the pitcher is saying he swung at the ball. How can you call it a ball? This is not a check swing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a tougher swing than Miguel Cabrera uh, took when he injured himself. Look at this swing. He goes all around. He nearly hits the umpire in the head with the bat. And he said, that's a ball. <laughs> Hello, umpires union. Take one more look at this, OK? The, uh... I have a lot of friends who are umpires. <laughs> they do great work. But how is that a ball? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right? Can't be. Did he All take right. a quick siesta there? Well, it was just... <laughs> who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint explosion this week? Darian Harris. Let's start with you in our play of the week. Uh, my play of the week from this week came from Bryce Harper, hometown hero, the last home run he needed to knock out the puck to win the home run derby. I mean, that, that's the highlight of All-Star Weekend right there in the MLB was that home run derby, and he almost had to win it. I mean, he had to win it. He came out, decked out in the Nationals gear and a D.C. gear, and having his dad pitch to him, you know, yeah. everybody's kind of complaining about the fast pitch. I'm not worried about that. I mean, he had that stretch of five, six in a row, yeah. and then the last one, the bat flip, getting the crowd hyped. That's what baseball needs. And that's honestly what they need Mike Trout to be. They need Mike yeah. Trout to have that much fiery attitude and, and passion. It's not his and personality. It's just, but it's not his personality, no. which is okay. You know, it's okay. But it, it, in terms of that's what baseball would, would hope that Mike Trout would be. But it's just not his personality. But seeing Bryce Harper do that was special. He comes out today, knocks a home run out the park. He might turn some stars into doing the home run derby because they might see that maybe it'll help if you're struggling to win a home run derby. Then you come out the second half of the season. I love when Alex Bregman got the MVP award and they had the two cars out there. They had the Camaro and the truck. And the mom wanted the Camaro and the dad wanted the <laughs> truck and he promised them both. And the mom got in the car. She wasn't leaving. Uh, Bob Fossum, oh, what about our game of the week? Well, game, game of the week, I'm going to go with golf game of the week. Okay. And as much as you think I don't want Tiger to win or anything like that. Why would we hit that? His <laughs> golf game this week was phenomenal to watch. I, I, really? I really enjoyed watching it. And I thought, okay. you know, maybe, you know, maybe he was going to win today. And they almost pulled it off. Yeah. Uh, so his golf game of the week, really good. Oh, and, good and, and everybody, I hadn't thought about that. And everybody's idea. looking forward to having him uh, the rest of the season to see what he does. So. All right. Shawnee B, uh, what about our player of the week? Well, here comes Justin Rose and Jordan Spieth. Yeah. And Tiger's lurking. He's got his red on. And yeah. there goes Francesco. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. It was a great watch. This was literally the guy, if you were watching this, to yeah. me, it seemed like nobody was talking about him. Everybody was talking about somebody else. Yeah. And he was as cool as the other side of the pillow. And he got the job done. And he won going away. So I'm going with Francesco. Yeah, and the fact that, you know, he just made every putt he had to make. Uh, great and to watch. He didn't make a lot of fairways. He was like 71st in driving accuracy. Yeah. But he got the ball up and down and made every shot he needed to make. All right, for our team of the week, I'm going to talk about Team Thornhill and Marcus Strong. We talked a little bit about this last week. And a very big day late this week for Marcus Thornhill, five years old, with inoperable brain tumor. And uh, they weren't sure if it had spread to his spinal cord. It has not. That is good news. Still a long road ahead. And he needs all of your prayers. And he could use some of your donations, too. Go to the Marcus Strong GoFundMe page. I want to thank our panel, Team 252, Sean Belegian. Appreciate you coming up. Always great seeing you. My pleasure. Darian Harris, got the baseball uniform on, our man for all seasons. And Bob Fossum. We've got one more major to talk about, and we uh, we'll do. get to that yeah. in a couple of weeks. Great Three beer. weeks in St. Louis. We will be back next week. Uh, we've got a big week. We're going to be in Chicago the next couple days to drive with Jack and Tom. And then Thursday night, the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame induction, one of my favorite events at the Lansing Center. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great week.
Team One in Charlotte is celebrating Sun and Drive, no money down, where you pay no money down on a new car. That's right, no money down on your next new car with Sun and Drive, only from Team One in Charlotte. Find your next vehicle at TeamOneCharlotte.com. Team One. Welcome to The Blend. I'm Bob. Meet Bob. This morning on The Morning Blend, I'm Mary Turner. I'm Bob Hoffman. Meet Mary. We're glad to have you joining us this morning. You never know what's going to happen on The Blend. It's not every day you wake up with a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Start your day off right with The Morning Blend. It's a fun night out. Catch The Morning Blend, weekdays, during Fox 47 Morning News at 7.